Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we're going to learn how to set up alerts for always on availability group in SQL Server. In this demo, we'll be learning how to find error numbers of a certain availability group alerts. Because in SQL Server, if you have set up availability group and there are certain errors happen in a availability group, alerts get generated and it is saved in a SQL Server messages table, system table, and I'll show you how to find that. Number two, how to set up alerts if availability group fails over how to set up alerts if availability group database movement suspends and number four if it gets resumed you if you wanted to have alert about that that will be good too uh, prerequisites for this demo would be that you should have DB mail already set up you should have operator already set up and your agent configuration which I will show you in a second too agent config uh, should be configured to send email so let's go ahead and take a look here's my uh, SQL server as you can see that uh, TBS uh, SQL cluster, this is my clustered environment, and SQL prod. And I do have right here availability group set up. Right here is my availability group database and there are uh, New York cluster, New York prod, and New York cl uh, TBS cluster SQL prod. Right now this is primary and this is secondary and this is my availability group database. So what I want is set up three kind of alerts one if that uh, availability group fail over um, and number two if it, the, this database movement gets suspended that means that they are not in sync there is no synchronization happening between uh, the primary and secondary replica and also if this database movement gets resumed I want to have that alert send it to my operator so these are three kind of alerts that uh, I'm going to show you how to set it up you can set up uh, different kind of alerts first of all let's go ahead and find uh, the error numbers and find where we can find the error numbers basically uh, related to always on availability group right here um, if you look into system sys messages this is in master so if you browse everything in that you will see uh, a lot all the messages uh, in SQL Server happening uh, in the SQL Server it gets stored in this particular uh, system table so um, in my case I just wanted to set up uh, uh, related to availability group if you notice my where class right here uh, MS language right here is 1033 that is English I only want English uh, messages that I can read and description up here is availability and anything that is related to availability I wanted to read all those messages and right here are the three alerts that I was talking about 1480 this is the error number for the alert and I have right here um, basically written right here if it fails over this is the error number the system generates 1480 and this is the suspension this is the resume error number so these are the error numbers you can basically um, if you want to take this out and just look at availability group with the English so you can go ahead and if your language is different there are certain languages there so you can uh, just take a look on your language as you can see that there are uh, different type of uh, alerts guest generated and description is right here and this is the error number right here so if you wanted to set up uh, alert on a certain different alerts of uh, set up an alert on different events that's happening regarding to availability group you can go ahead and um, look into uh, system sys messages table and it will give you the error number this error number is um, really there are different ways that you can set up uh, availability group alert but this is the easiest way that I found and that's why I'm I'm making this video to share with you so it, it doesn't take but uh, five minutes to set an alert but um, this is what we need error number right here because we're going to go ahead and use SQL Server agent um, to send us alert when certain type of event uh, regarding to availability group happens so these are three alerts this is how you find the alert you can go ahead and uh, use this clause to find other kind of alerts if you wanted to set it up so let's go ahead and um, first thing I want to show you that uh, your DB mail should be set up right here I already set it up and I already created the uh, alerts and all that but I'm going to go ahead and uh, create one with you so uh, in order to create first alert when it fails over our uh, right here we want to copy this error this is related to let me go ahead and run this so this 
error number 1480 is related to if our availability group fails over so I'm gonna go ahead and set up an alert right click new alert and I am going to name this alert AG database AG failed over failover alert so this is the name of that alert and I want you can just choose the databases that's basically in uh, your availability group but right now I'm just going to keep all the databases click on error number right here and paste this error right there 418 so anytime this error happens what we want we want system to generate an alert so response up here uh, you can go ahead and click on notify operator in my case the operator is tech brothers underscore on call DBA I want this alert when this happens I want to send email to on call DBA so I will choose email options right here alert text in email so additional message if you wanted to put it there uh, that uh, what it needs to do you can put it right here but I just wanted to send an email and click OK as you can see that the failover alert gets created and operator is already created right here if you don't know how to create an operator you can right click on operator click on new operator and give the name of the operator email address of the operator and choose the schedule right here in notification you need to choose that if you have created already the alert that alert will appear right here and you can go ahead and click on AG alerts and AG failover so this operator will be used in that perspective so cancel if you look the property just to make sure that this operator is being used for our second AG failover alert right here so click OK now this um, alert is created let's go ahead and create another alert and I'm gonna call it AG underscore database assume so I'll go ahead and put get the error number from here this is the suspension as you can see right here this is the suspended and this is the resumed one so I'm going to use this is the resumed one put the error number right here just exactly what we did in the first step response notify operator email options send an email click OK let's go ahead and I can go ahead basically right click on this AG alert go to the properties and I can do this if you notice right here my error number is 35264 which is the suspension of the uh, uh, data movement uh, between primary replica and secondary replicas so let's go ahead and rename this suspension suspended response is already configured for this options is good so let's go ahead and click OK now we wanted to make sure that um, we will do some testing and see that if this email uh, if this alert gets generated and we get an email so let's go ahead and um, let's create the first alert right here we're going to fail over uh, we're going to basically suspend the data movement on this particular database so click on suspend database click OK All right, database is suspended. I'm going to go ahead and click on resume the database so we'll see that uh, how the resume works. Click OK. Now the first thing I wanted to look at whether the alert was generated or not. So let's go ahead and go in our alerts right here. So our uh, database suspension right here. Let's click OK on properties go to history and as you can see the number of occurrences are four so I have done um, uh, you know practice to make sure that everything works fine or just to capture if there are 
any errors that I encounter and I needed to let uh, you guys know uh, but um, this is four right here so alert was generated let's take a look on resumes history one alert gets generated that's good and we haven't done the failover so let's go ahead first check these two alerts whether we got an email uh, about these two alerts or not so I'm gonna go back and I'm right here this is uh, my email address that I have given let's say that the operator emails are this um, right now we don't have alerts here but uh, keep in mind this is the first setup in this email so it could go in spam so I'm gonna go ahead and click on spam and there it is it says SQL Server uh, suspension right here and resume so I'm gonna go ahead and not a spam not a spam so it goes in my inbox right here as you can see that uh, it sent us an alert that always on availability group data movement for database right here is my database has been suspended for following reason and it told us that user did it it's not the system uh, because we went ahead and did that so let's go ahead and uh, check the other email and it says always on availability group data movement sales order has been resumed this is an information message only so basically this is how you uh, set up an alert uh, you can uh, let's let's go ahead and do the failover as well so for failover I have to go on to right here availability group failover click next and this is going to be my accept the data loss next click finish and now this will become my, my primary keep in mind that if you wanted to set alerts uh, regarding to your availability group you need to set it uh, on your primary and secondary replicas I haven't tried it just with one and see that how it works but uh, you do need to set up alerts on primary and secondary replicas as far as my first thought goes so let's close this and let's see that if alert was generated for the failover yes number of occurrences are two so click OK and let's check the email now it went in spam as you can see failover alert availability group database sales order is changing roles from secondary to resolving this is about the resolve and it considered as failover as well and if we take a look on the other message I'm sorry and this will be like resolving to primary because mirroring session or availability group failed over due to role synchronization so this is basically how you set up your uh, failover alert how you set up your database movement suspension and how to set up your database uh, movement resume when it resumes uh, again I wanted to mention right here that if you are interested in different other alerts regarding to your availability group all you need to do is go in sys.sys messages table and find out um, uh, regarding to your um, availability groups error numbers and find those error numbers and you can set up alerts as many as you want and I hope this little demo helped.